Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another Deadman Mode video. We are two days away till the end of the tournament and we only have one goal in mind, maintain the top 25 rank on the leaderboards. It is getting extremely close with the competition, so hopefully we manage to find ways to get a bunch of points. So let's get right into it. I sure hope there's no one in here. Of course there's rot in here. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to get a kill in here. Fuck. I can try hopping, but I feel like it's a bit of a recipe for disaster here. Okay, for the first time ever, I'm going in Australian world. Wait, was it... was it him? I think... Okay, it appears that... Uh, the guy we saw is actually Maz, and uh, we should be alright, we should be alright. This might actually be decent, you know. Okay, and now I just need to venge and not pray. Wow. And <laughs> this guy took my venge. Okay, well, now we just need to wait a bit. The hair, it is venge kill. I didn't get the Verax kill? Okay, we need to do one more. I thought I would get a Verax kill as well, but fair enough. Okay, I'm in full Verax, and I'm not gonna use Venge or Thralls. I feel like that was probably the problem. That should work now. <clears throat> I used nothing but Verax. There we go. Okay, that should also be the last task when it comes to KQ, because I used Statue's Warhammer to lower the defense. So there it is. And now I just need 50 kill count, but I don't know if I'll do all 50. Okay, we're up to 10kc, so one-fifth of the way done. I guess if I don't see people, I might as well kill this boss. It's 20 points per kill, it is not the fastest. It's in multi, it's dangerous, but we're trying our best. Hey, there's 25kc in a row, nice. So I guess I can do 25 more then. What? I just got a pet, I think. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. There's no way, right? Where is it even? This pet is so sick, by the way, but like, what? Oh my god, I actually got it. I can't believe this. That is 30 kill count, Calfight Princess. That's like one of the coolest pets in this game. Wow, this is not increased drop rate, by the way. That is crazy. I'm gonna finish the rest of 20, but oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, there's no way, man. I'm so fucking tired that I got a pet, man. What? I think while I'm doing Calfight Queen, I should probably pick the pet up and like hide it. Because <laughs> otherwise people can kind of guess what I'm doing. That's actually the first decent-ish drop to Magic Seeds. I can sell that for almost 600k on DMM. But yeah, look at my inventory, like I'm giga risking here. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, but it's so early in the morning that I feel like... Maybe I feel too safe, I don't really know. Okay, we got more Magic Seeds. Oh my goodness, we actually did it and we somehow survived. There is 50 kill count and we managed to green the full of Calfight Queen in combat achievements. So let me get out of here real quick. I did not expect to do this and in the process we got a bunch of points, like 2000 plus I'd say. Yep, Calfight Queen, fully green. Beautiful, very nice. Oh yeah, I've never done this, but that Serp Helm that we had, I think I just used a chisel on it, right? Yeah, now we have a Serp Helm, we'll worry about this later. The reason for that is I'm going back to Zolra right now, because if we very quickly take a look at the Zolra over here, you'll quickly see that if I kill 150 and if I kill 75, I will green log the entire CA of Zolra, which will also give me a bunch of points. And on top of that, if we were to look at the amount of points I get for Zolra, it's fairly safe and I get 12 points, so not too bad at all. Maybe? Yeah, we got it. Yes, dude. Nice. And yet another boss, Hespori, is now green log or green completed. I don't know how to say it, but very happy to have this done. I don't need to even worry about looting it or anything like that, as I already am 99 farming. So 
Now, I think it is time for me to chill a bit. The bridge is in one hour and 30 minutes, so I do wanna relax a bit beforehand. It is time to multi-skill a bit, so here's 81 crafting. I'm trying to get to 85 so I can fortify my Mazori body, and whilst I'm doing that, I'm also doing this, which is a bit sketchy, but it works. And I need to get to 70 rune crafting, preferably. 82, three more to go. There's 84, just one more to go. Ladies, gentlemen, bridge is starting in one minute minute we're gonna start on 192.4 points what is the goal the goal is 195 if i can get above 195 i'll be happy so that's 2.6k points first emblem another emblem sigil of preservation oh wait well it's gone emblem number three we'll take it emblem four number five another emblem another emblem okay i'm getting so many emblems this run <laughs> this guy's writing another emblem in the chat why is everyone doing that man Mm, one more to finish it off, I guess. Mm, being attacked right now. Kriara is popping, so that usually takes pick airs off. I just got frozen, but then no more damage came through afterwards. Oh, now we're being still attacked. I mean, the bridge is literally over right now, and I got a free teleport out. So, as before, I'll take it. And I got 195. I think this is exactly what I wanted to have, right? So, it didn't go better, but it was exactly at the point where I expected it, with a bunch of emblems and, I guess, okay amount of loot. So, uh, we cannot complain. Uh, I'm going to quickly relog and see what rank I am at the moment before going to bed. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Yeah, with this relog, I am rank 12 with 195,000 points but obviously some of the other people can also relog and then I'm probably maybe like rank 15 or something but rank 25 has 175,000 points so I have 20,000 point gap and 26 has 173 so 22,000 point gap so that's pretty solid uh, I'm gonna have a small rest and then uh, when I wake up we'll see how close we are to the competition but so far so good good morning ladies and gentlemen Couple of uncut spot and it is just enough to finish the goal. So now we need to see if I'll be able to do this with a boost or if I need to actually train my crafting all the way to 90. But there's the crafting level 85. We now get to do amethyst arrow tips. Doesn't really matter. Most importantly, we can now fortify our Mazori body. Let's take a look at how this actually works. Okay, so apparently if I use a chisel on an arma stuff, I can break it into an armadillion plate and I do believe in order to fortify a Missouri body, I need four of these. There's an armadillion plate, so how does this work? You need a hammer, okay. I know I need four, I'm just seeing the... You need four? Okay, let's take a look. This is so weird. This reminds me of... Um, there's a skill in RuneScape 3 which basically forces you to destroy stuff, so it's like a good money sink in a way. But there we go, we got four of them. Can I fortify my body now? Oh, it's doing it. 33,000 XP, Mazori body fortified. Uh, but also I got this a lot cheaper. Like if this goes, let's imagine it, 130 mil on, G on GE. I bought armor helms for 7 mil and then I bought the body for like 70 something mil. So I got like 20 mil cheaper for this body. So that is absolutely phenomenal. Which now means we have this armor chest plate that is completely useless in our safety deposit box. Which means I now have extra 60 million probably to work work with because armor chest plate goes for a lot of money safety deposit box looking very very good for the final hour so looking forward to it okay the goal right now is to finish 150 zolra that way we're gonna green log the cas and also get decent amount of points and that is the Zolra Veteran, 75 kill count completed, so all we need is 75 more. Alright, we got a little Breachman mode situation happening in about a second. We're dancing with the homies. Let's hope for a good breach. Obviously, it's gonna be rough. There's 400 players online, so part of me might want to actually just go multi. We'll see. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, what's going on here, man? This one's gonna be hard to get points. We're starting on 195. That's the first emblem. Emblem number two. I don't even care about trinkets anymore. They disappear tomorrow anyways. Emblem number three. 
another emblem as uh, Javelin says. <laughs> uh, okay, we have a Picard on us. I got another emblem, but maybe I can just stay. Maybe he just uh, lets me lets me go. Looks like I just caught a freeze and then I got left alone. No, I caught another freeze. I'm still not gonna run. I'm gonna be a bit greedy here. Okay, now I'm gonna have to start considering running. Uh, maybe I don't run yet. I mean, there's five minutes left and... Okay, he's still on me. I might need to consider running now. Okay, TP out, I'll go back in. It's so hard, man. 197,000 points, just getting non-stop attacked. But we regear, we go again, there's five minutes left. There's another emblem on the floor that I will most likely oink. There's another emblem on the floor, getting a bunch of them right now. Keep dealing as much damage as possible. Maybe I can get to 198. Big maybe, but we can try. Another emblem. Yeah, we got one minute left on the breach. Hopefully I get close to one, uh, 198 points. Decent-ish breach, we're on 197.7. I think we're still really good. We got okay loot as well. So let's uh, try getting some more points now. All right, I'll do something that I should have done a while ago, but I'll do it now instead. I don't really know this place very well, but I think I can just kill Abyssal Demons here. And obviously I'm not gonna do Sire, uh, but I have 87 more and I'm gonna use Expeditious Bracelets to speed this process up a bit. Uh, I have a anti-PK gear on, so we should be okay. Hoppa, a little whip situation going on here. Very nice. We only have 42 left to go. I like this area because I don't think many people know where it is. Uh, but whips still go for 1.6 mil, obviously, even when the server gets ported to world 45. The whip's still always gonna hold somewhat of a value, so it's a, it's a good weapon, man. It's nice. There's the Abyssal Demon task completed, and as you can see, we have 37 points, which means we can grab another task, and that is perfectly in line with my plan, and it will all make sense in just a moment. However, we got a clue scroll, it's a pretty dangerous one, but I want to complete it, so let's go ahead and do it. Alright, we got a little two-stamp casket situation, let's see what do we get. Black Dragon Mask, I believe this is a part for an elite clue scroll, but you need to do that elite clue scroll in a DK's layer, so probably not very good, but we got purple sweets as well, which I will actually use in the final hour, so that's actually a good drop. So here we are yet again in front of the master plan. We got slaughter, we got versatility, we got points, let's pick a task. So NPC contact, speak to the homie Duradel, and here's the kicker. Okay, we are going to be taking gargoyles. Okay, you might be wondering why would you spend your last points on gargoyles? And here is why, okay? If we go enter the character summary combat tasks, we will quickly see that if I go under the bosses, which actually looks really good, like a lot of this is very green, which is good to see. Serb is one thing I also wanna get one more task of to complete, uh, because at the beginning I didn't really pay much attention to this. And Kraken is another thing that I wanna complete. But but if we keep on scrolling here, yeah, we keep on scrolling. Aha, there it is. Grotesque guardians for some reason have 15. Not one, not two, not five, 15 combat achievement tasks. And this is something I wanna try to complete all of it because this is all points. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be up to. I don't know what's best sigil combination for it, but I'm gonna get, uh, get cracking and try to do as many of these tasks as possible. <laughs> Okay, couple of pointers. Thibaut is really shit, uh, but as you can see, I got a lot of stuff from doing that. A lot of points of the bat, like don't look at the eclipse, prison break, granite footwork, staty wear and as done before dusk. Just a bunch of tasks that I don't even know how you get. And that just boosted my points up by like a thousand. Uh, not quite, but a lot of points. Okay, so we're gonna need to get 25 KC more. We're gonna kill her before she receives healing, which this one might actually be kinda hard. 50 kill count, doing everything perfectly, which is actually kinda hard. Then we have some speed kills, which should be easy. 10 times without leaving the instance. We'll get ready for that one. Ooh, five perfect kills. That's a bit of a rough one. Another speed kill, 20 times without leaving the instance, and another speed kill. So first I'm gonna work on the speed kills, and then I'm gonna work on the long kills, is what I'm thinking. Oh, I got a granite ring on KC number two. Uh, we'll take it, I guess. 
Okay, let's do a few more adaptations. Scythe hits like a truck, but range is really struggling. So I'm gonna go range boots and archer ring and see how that does. Okay, so this is the part where earlier I couldn't quite get enough damage in to skip the healing phase. Now I took archer ring and dehyde boots. And let's see if we do any better. Okay, we skipped it, so that should be another achievement. That's really good. Is that a perfect kill? It might be a perfect kill as well. Yeah, we got a few more perfect grotesque, speed trialist, and obviously not getting healed. So now I can try to do five perfect kills in a row, as that is also one of the tasks. But that's also a bunch of points that we just got from just tasks alone. Hey, now we have the quick start option after five kill count. So we can just go here, boom, and instantly begin the fight. No more cuts in needed. Oh, we got granite gloves as well. Well, nice. Don't know how good these are, but... Okay, so for the next trip, I definitely see I took way too little amount of restores. 132. I was pretty slow in the end there. I'm not getting any restores, so we're gonna reset here. Okay, I'm gonna go into this one with a little bit more restores. And see if I can maybe get 20 kills. If not, I can always take a titanium and then just take a bunch of brews and restores for the future run. But right now I think I can just do it. And we're slowly accumulating points up as well. So it's not, this is actually not the worst. It's pretty safe and okay-ish points. Oh, we got a Gmail. Okay. 126. So five seconds too slow for the record. Uh, but we're getting there. I'm definitely improving. Nice, we like the brew drops because I am trying to kill 20 in a row. So all the supply drops are good. Right now we are seven kills in. 119, is that the speed? Yeah, let's go perfect grotesque guardians. Two, so I think I did five perfect ones in a row. From dusk, so 10 kills in a row. And the speedrunner task. Okay, that is really good. I didn't know that was six perfect ones in a row. But that is amazing because that was the one that I was worried about the most. Because I always make mistakes. That's just what I do. So what is left is we have 25 kill count. Easy. 50 kill count. Easy. And 20 in a row and we are completed. Wow. And I've killed 10 in a row already. So if I can somehow manage to maintain this inventory and do 10 more kills, we are in the money. That's phenomenal. Oh, yes, we got supplies. Okay, that's pretty good. Come on, supplies, supplies, supplies. Okay, we got some supplies. Player potions are rough though. I need to get six more kills somehow, some way. Okay, I got, what was that, 25 kill count? Nice. Do I get another ranging pot, another combat pot, which is okay. How many more kills do I need? Five more kills with this inventory. It's the restores that are, I'm struggling, I'm flicking everything I can. There we go, no more restores, so I cannot use bruise. Good luck us. 60 player points for three kills. Okay. But give me supplies. I have two more kills with two potatoes. That's all we got. Okay. One more kill. No food. And no supplies, of course. I think I can do it, though. Let's go. And if my calculations were correct, we actually managed to do it here. 20 kills in a row. No supplies. No restores. Nothing left. And we've done that as well. That's actually kind of crazy. I thought I wouldn't be able to do it in this trip. Because we didn't get any supply drops. But we managed to do it somehow, some way. So now all we have left on Grotesque Guardians is just a little bit of kill count. Which should be very, very easy to get. So there it is. This one's the last one. 50 points. We got a ton of points with this. So yeah, let's finish this off. Ooh, we got another Granite Ring, number two. With a D long. I ran out of darts, so I'm quickly making some Dragon Darts here. And then we'll just use Dragon Darts, I guess. And here is 92 Fletching. Very cool. Oh my goodness, we also got a Black Tourmaline Core. Which, uh, I don't know how good this is. This could actually be pretty decent. It basically makes, I think, the Bandos Boots even tankier. So there's definitely use for it. I just don't know how good it is. Yeah, you can make Guardian Boots. Uh, and Guardian Boots have very high defensive stats, but just not for magic. So, yeah, it's hard to say, really. It's hard to say, but it could be useful. I'm going to quickly check the prices. I don't think many of these are sold because I don't think anybody is really doing what I'm doing right now. But they apparently go for 6 million, the last sell. So that is not a bad price. Oh my god, that was beautiful. 
I got a PB without even trying, 118. Okay, so Black Tourmalinian Core Insta sold. I put it in for 6 mil, let's see how much we get. I guess we Insta sold it for exactly 6 million. Uh, we'll take it, that's uh, good money. Hmm, you can get Dragon Arrow tips from here. I didn't know that. Two more kills and we've done all the CAs when it comes to grotesques. Okay, let's take a look. We are on 199.2. Let's see how many points we get. There we go, Grotesque Guardians Veteran. And now if I refresh it, 199.2, 199.7, so 500 points, which in, at this point in the tournament is absolutely huge. Now I don't know if I should at least go to 100 KC because you do get 16 per room. Yeah, I guess I have to decide a little bit. It's not only 8 points like I thought, each one gives you 8 points, so you actually do get 16 per kill. So I could do that until 100 KC. Well, I'll, let me finish this trip and then I'll figure it out. All right, here's skill count number 70. And I've decided I will do a 100 kill count because we're so late into the tournament. Points are so hard to get. So anything that's instanced and safe, it just kind of makes sense to do. Oh, we got the uh, granite gloves again. I don't think they will sell, but it's a unique, so might as well show it. I will pick another granite gloves. We are now over 200,000 points which is really good it is nice and i'm happy that i pushed to almost 100 kc we are currently on kc 85 so 15 more to go let's get it there it is big 100 we're gonna eat up and finish the task slowly but there it is 100 kc got all the way to 200,000 plus points currently rank 12 which is a really good push okay let's take a look what do we got in this one oi that's a lot of stuff. Ancient Dehyde Boots are amazing. Purple Sweets are amazing. Bandos Page is meh. Dickside TP is really good. It's like 60k each. Uh, so that's a, that's a 600k right here. And then Master Clue Scroll. Let's see if we can do this one. I mean, I don't want to go through all this effort for 30 points. I'm not going to lie. I have to do like the Curse of the Something quest and uh, f for this part here to speak to Vigora. So I just kind of see BA, I'm going to be honest. Everything else would be doable. Breach is in 30 minutes and I kind of just want to chill, I'm going to be honest. So I'm going to grab Sigil of Exaggeration and just do a little bit of thieving because I do want to get to 91 thieving. going to start on 200,180 points and... All I'm hoping for is 2.5k points. If I get that, it's good. And uh, obviously there is a ton of people on this world right now. Everybody is max bracket. The tournament ends in a day and 11 hours. So we are looking at five more breaches or four. I'm not sure, four or five more breaches. If I just participate in every breach, get about 2k points, I should almost cement my rank as a top 25 in this deadman mode. However, I'm still gonna try to do as much damage as possible in this breach. And obviously not to die. Bro, look how many people there are. So much. Yeah, these breaches are just gonna get worse and worse. So, I mean, don't think there's gonna be much room for points anymore. Oh my, I got morrigans. And an emblem. Nice. That is so much money right now. Oh my god, I still have exaggeration. Oh wait, there's PK on me right now. Okay, uh, which sigil am I missing? Ninja Titanium Precision. We go again. Hoppa, we got a Zuriel staff. That is like 15 mil right now. Maybe like 13 mil, but that's gonna go more up and up and up because for the final hour, that's best in slot main hand. That is a big drop. That's a second PvP drop on this breach, which is amazing. Okay, we'll take an emblem. Oh, and PK air on us, so we're gonna brew up. Brew up again, keep damaging. I don't know if he's still on me or not, but I'm not running, let me tell you. Don't care if I die, all I want is points. Sigil of Finality, don't know what it does. Alright, how much did we get? If I got... Nice, basically 3000 points. N that is that is good, boys, that is good. I have a smile on my face, we got two PvP drops. Sigil of Finality, which... 100% accuracy on the next special attack, interesting. I don't know how good that is, but I have it. With this breach out of the way, we are ending today's episode as rank 11. We are currently 19,000 points ahead of rank 26. We are not yet fully safe, but I think we are in a very good position in order to maintain our front page spot, and I am very excited to see where the last day takes us. So, looking forward to it, I hope you are as well. There's probably two more 
more videos coming after this one. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and support me by simply subscribing and I will catch you again very soon tomorrow with another Deadman Mode video. Have a good one and bye-bye. See ya.